Hey everyone. Yes, this is a Costco membership card. And um, one of the reasons why Costco is one of my favorite places is because you can eat samples, right? Um, my name is Pastor Manny. This is the ministry we have here called uh, Looking Up. And uh, Pastor Bob, Monday and Thursday, uh, post like a little short devotional to just bring you encouragement throughout the day and throughout the week. <clears throat> and uh, going back to the, the Costco card, the membership card, right? Uh, Costco is an awesome store that's just all, all over the States. And, and if you remember there, you can get in and, and certain times throughout the week, they have free samples. Yes, free samples. <laughs> and um, being a college student, it's awesome to go there because if you're kind of low on money, you could just go and eat lunch or dinner there for, 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 for free, right? <laughs> but um, anyways, so that you can get free samples, right? You go around the store. If you see something you like, you can taste it for yourself, right? And, um, and that's one thing I love about Costco. And I'm sure, too, too that's something that, that most of you love about Costco as well. But it's kind of unfortunate because we haven't been able to do it in a while because obviously the, the pandemic and stuff. So, uh, but hopefully soon sometimes sooner or later we'll get back to to being able to have for the free samples right and um so the reason why i'm talking about that is because um you know that that god asks actually um he invites us to to taste and to see and um there's a verse in psalms 34 verse 8 he says taste and see that the lord is good blessed is the one who takes a refuge in him now um, I, the, one of the reasons why I love this is because um, uh, God is inviting us to, to uh, partake in him personally, right? And um, it's a little bit different than when we listen to sermons or when we read books, right? Because I, I think, in a sense, those are kind of smelling the food, right? When you smell the food, you can kind of taste it, but you're still not tasting it for yourself, right? So it's, it's uh, sermons and stuff like that are awesome. Uh, you know, they give us knowledge and, and they can actually... Um, initiate a, a, a drawing closer to God, right? And, and the same thing with books and stuff like that, right? Devotional books and all these things. But there's nothing that can replace uh, that time that we spend in God's word alone, right? And, and that's a time between you and God. That's a time where, you, you, where we invite the Holy Spirit to, to come in and, and to teach us to transform our hearts, right? And, and the reason why that's so important is because that's where transformation happens. And, and when it's between you and God, when it's one-on-one, -on -one, when it's personal, right? We all have, we all live in a sin-filled world, right? We all carry this, this kind of baggage with us where um, uh, we have these unhealthy habits, right? We have unhealthy attitudes. Uh, maybe some of us have been through, through a divorce or family issues. Maybe some of us have been through just certain experiences in our life where, where we we've, we've, uh, have scars from them, right? But uh, but spending that time with God is the is one of the only ways where we can where He can we can allow Him to bind up our wounds, right? And heal those unhealthy attitudes, heal those um, those past experiences that have that have hurt us, that have been painful to us, right? And so there's nothing that can replace spending that alone time with God, because that's where true transformation happens, uh, one on one with Him and His Word and, and with the Holy Spirit, right? So. Um, just to give a final analogy, right? I don't, I don't have one here, but if I had an apple or something like that, um, and I bit into it, uh, and I asked you, well, how does this taste? Right? You, you, you probably say, well, it tastes like sweet, it tastes sour, uh, but in reality, you don't know because you haven't tasted it for yourself, right? So, so Pastor Manny cannot give you that authentic, true relationship with God. I can, I can. Um, help influence or I can help encourage, right? I can share some things that maybe uh, are uplifting, but but um, it, you must taste and see for yourself, right? And, and that's where the true power of God comes from is when we take when we take that step and he invites us to do that, right? So, so that's, that's what I have for us this week. Uh, I encourage each and every one of us to taste and see that the Lord is good for ourselves and to do that throughout this week. And it says, blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. All right. Uh, so thank you, everyone. Take care. God bless. Have an awesome week. Uh, stay safe. And uh, yeah, look forward to seeing you guys soon. All right. Bye-bye.